I'm Gary Kachadorian. Uh, this is my piece, uh, my installation for the thesis exhibition. And it's all made of uh, large format Xeroxes. So what I do is I, I do drawings of small objects and then I scan them and blow them up to uh, what would be their original size, the object's original size. And then I piece them together and make environments in this case. Sometimes I just make the single object. In this case, it's environments. So, or, you know, around you, you have asphalt, curb, grass, brick wall, windows. Uh, and these are all made from parts. So there's a drawing of just asphalt. There's a drawing of just grass. They're, they're then pieced together to make larger expanses of each. And then in the case of the brick and the windows, it's made to look like an apartment complex or an office building, but it's actually uh, brick and windows taken from a drawing of a McDonald's. So it's just each part's taken from some part. And then you also have aspects where each drawing is made on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper uh, at whatever scale fits. So the brick wall and the window is drawn 86 times smaller than life size, whereas the asphalt and the grass are drawn uh, two to three times smaller than life size. So you have this like variation of pixelization that occurs. So the bricks are very fuzzy blown up to life size, even though they're a very detailed drawing at 186 scale. And of course the uh, grass stays fairly close to its original form. It's, it's the, this, this particular process has, I've been, I started about five years ago. So it's been a slow process of taking in one part and then figuring out what to do with that part and changing it. Uh, it starts with, um, it started with just making drawings of objects. And then those drawings, you know, and the first drawings were actually drawn to be blown up to life size. So you would make the drawing of the object, you'd measure it, you know, do everything, and then, you know, draw it fairly realistically. And the way you would make the drawing was, you know, using both measurements from the object and a photograph of the object. Then as you started to collect more drawings, you started to think about how you know, well, first you started to like do drawings of things like cinder block wall, which is over on the left, uh, where it was something that you would multiply to make a large, you know, you have a cinder block wall that's maybe, you know, four by six feet, uh, but you can put it together and make a cinder block wall that fits any space. And then you started to think, well, you know, I have this, you know, this object or that object, I have a bush, you know, if I put that bush and take it and place it in front of a cinder block wall, and then put grass on the floor in front of it, I can start to make a juxtaposition of multiple objects. And then from there, it goes into the next phase, which is, you know, I have this huge space. If I take this object, this object, or, you know, these 25 or 30 objects and piece them all together, I can actually make uh, an environment, you know, or actually a somewhat realistic, if in black and white, version of a real space that a person can walk into and experience as a real space. 